Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed problems from the section Changing Times. Today, let us discuss the next section Increasing and Decreasing. The production of some things increase annually at a fixed rate. Similarly, the price of certain things also increase or decrease at a fixed annual rate. We can use the method of computing compound interest in such cases also to calculate the number of units produced each year or the price each year. Let us take an example. It is estimated that a company manufacturing mobile phones increases production by 20% every year. In 2014, it made about 7 crore phones. How many handsets does it expect to produce in 2018? The company produces 7 crore mobile phones in 2014. So we can consider P as 7 crore. The production increases by 20% every year. That means R is 20%. We have to find the expected production in 2018. That is after 4 years. Therefore, N equal to 4. We have our equation A equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 all raised to N. Here, A is number of mobile phones after 4 years. P is 7 crores, R is 20 and N is 4. Replacing, we get 7 crores into 1 plus 20 by 100 all raised to 4. 1 plus 20 by 100 is 120 by 100. So this can be written as 7 crores into 120 by 100 all raised to 4. And this can also be written as 7 crores into 120 by 100 into 120 by 100 into 120 by 100 into 120 by 100. Now there are 11 zeros in the numerator and 8 zeros in the denominator. So we can cancel 8 zeros from both numerator and denominator. Let us cancel two zeros, again two zeros, again two zeros, and again two zeros. What remains now? 7000 into 12 into 12 into 12 into 12. Let us multiply 12 by 12 at first. And we know 12 into 12 is 144. Now again we have to multiply this by 12 into 12. We know 12 into 12 is 144. And again 12 into 12 is 144. So instead of multiplying 12 four times, we can multiply 144 by 144. And that is equal to 20,736. Now we have to multiply this again by 7,000. And we get 14 crores, 51 lakhs and 52,000. That means the expected production in 2018 is 14 crores 51 lakhs 52,000. Now let us do the problems on page 95. First problem. A report estimates e-waste increasing by 15% every year and the e-waste in 2014 is about 9 crore tons. What is the expected amount of e-waste in 2020? E-waste in 2014 is 9 crore tons. So let us take P as 9 crore. It increases by 15% every year. That means R is 15%. We have to find the expected amount of e-waste in 2020. That means after 6 years. Therefore N is 6. We have the equation A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 all raised to N. A is the expected amount of e-waste after 6 years. P is 9 crores, R is 15 and N is 6. Replacing we get 9 crores into 1 plus 15 by 100 all raised to 6. 1 plus 15 by 100 is 115 by 100. So this can be written as 9 crores into 115 by 100 all raised to 6. It can again be written as 9 crores into 115 by 100 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 into 115 by 100. There are 7 zeros in the numerator 
and 12 zeros in the denominator. Let us cancel 7 zeros from both numerator and denominator. What remains now? 9 into 115 into 115 into 115 into 115 into 115 into 115 divided by 10 into 100 into 100. Let us multiply 115 by 115 at first. We get 13,225. Again we have to multiply it by 115 and 115. So instead of multiplying by 115 two times, let us multiply this by 13,225 again. Then we get 17 crores 49 lakhs and 625. Again we have to multiply it by 115 into 115 or 13,225. Then we get 2,31,306 crores 7,65,625. Again we have to multiply this by 9. And we get this much. Now we have to divide this by 10 into 100 into 100 or 1 lakh. Then we get 20 crores 81 lakhs 75,468.90625. Rounding we get 20 crores 81 lakhs 75,469 tons. That is the expected amount of e-waste in 2020 is 20 crores 81 lakhs 75,469 tons. A TV manufacturer decreases the price of a particular model by 5% every year. The current price of the model is 8000 rupees. What would be the price after 2 years? What is the difference between this problem and the previous problems? Here the price of the model decreases by 5% every year. The price decreases by a fixed rate every year. So we can use the same equation with a small change. Instead of addition, we have to use subtraction. The current price of the model is 8000 rupees. We can take P as 8000. The price decreases by 5% every year. So R is 5%. We have to find the price after 2 years. That is N is 2. Let us change addition by subtraction. Then our equation is A equal to P into 1 minus R by 100 all raised to N. P is 8000, R is 5 and N is 2. Replacing we get 8000 into 1 minus 5 by 100 all raised to 2. We know 1 is 100 by 100. So 1 minus 5 by 100 is 100 by 100 minus 5 by 100 or 95 by 100. So this can be written as 8000 into 95 by 100 all square. It can again be written as 8000 into 95 by 100 into 95 by 100. We can cancel three zeros from both numerator and denominator. What remains now? 8 into 95 into 95 divided by 10. Let us multiply 95 by 95 at first. We get 9025. Again let us multiply it by 8. Then we get 72200. Now we have to divide it by 10. We get 7,220. That is, the price of the model after 2 years is 7,220 rupees. Third problem. Tiger is our national animal. The number decreases every year. Figures show 3% annual decrease. According to the census of National Tiger Conservation Authority, there were 1,700 tigers in India in 2011. If the trend continues, how many tigers would be there in 2016? Number of tigers in 2011 is 1,700. So we can take P as 1,700. The number of tigers decreases by 3% every year. That means R is 3%. We have to find the number of tigers in 2016. That means after 5 years, therefore n equal to 5. Here the number of tigers decreases by 3% every year. So we can take the equation a equal to p into 1 minus r by 100 all raised to n. p is 1700, r is 3 and n is 5. So we can write this as 
So we can multiply this again by 9409 and we get 8 crores 85 lakhs 29,281. So we have multiplied 97 by 97 4 times. We have to multiply it by 97 once again. Then we get 858 crores 73 lakhs 40,257. Again we have to multiply it by 17. Then we get 14,598 crores, 47 lakhs, 84,369. Now we have to divide it by 100 into 100 into 100 into 100 or 10 crore. There are 8 zeros. So let us divide this by 10 crores. Then we get 1,459.8478.4369. Rounding we can take 1,460. That is, number of tigers in 2016 is 1460. This chapter is complete here. We shall discuss another chapter in the next video. Till then, bye.